What's good, CBT fam? Before y'all get into the video, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell to get notified every time I upload content. Peace. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. Colossal Boxing Talk is associated with Three Kings Boxing under the movement umbrella, and I am back with another video. Can Badu Jack take the power of Adonis Stevenson? May 19th is quickly coming upon us where we have the light heavyweight showdown between WBC and lineal light heavyweight champion Adonis Superman Stevenson who will be facing two division world champion Badu Jack the Ripper Jack um, in a fight that's very intriguing when this fight was first announced I was excited because Badu Jack has grown into one of my favorite fighters over the years. Ever since his upset loss at the hands of Derek Edwards, he's improved. He went and beat Anthony Durrell when nobody gave him a chance, myself included. I thought that Anthony Durrell would just be able to crack um, the chin of Jack as Derek Edwards did. But I was wrong like so many others. He got back in the gym. You know, he made the... Proper improvements defensively, you know, he sharpened his um his mind, increased that IQ, you know, stopped making the um the, the mistakes that got him fucked up by Derek Edwards. And he went on to become a champion, you know, and fighting a unification bout, even though he fought to a draw with James DeGill, fought George Groves, um, fought Lucian Boutte, fought Nathan Cleverly where he won the WBA light heavyweight title. Yes, he vacated it, but he vacated it for a bigger um, fight against Adonis Stevenson. Adonis Stevenson, since defeating bad Chad Dawson back in, what, 2013 or whatever it may be. Maybe 2015, I'm not for sure. Like, it couldn't be 2015, but 2013, 2013. Um, ever since defeating him in the, what, second round, where he knocked him out brutally. He's been feasting on lackluster competition. I'm going to put it like that. I'm going to put it kindly. He's been feasting on the Tom Carpensis, D-level type fighters, C-level type fighters. Tony Bell, you who went on to have some success at Cruiserweight and now with two wins over David Hay, heavy, heavyweight, you give him that victory. Andreas Von Far, who he fought in an unnecessary rematch, blew him out. After the first fight that was tough where we saw Stevenson get dropped, he fought an old-ass Saki Obika, won a unanimous decision. Thomas uh, Thomas Williams Jr. knocked him out in the fourth or fifth round. Now, Stevenson is ready to step up his competition. And although I believe Badu Jack is the better fighter, the X factor in this fight is... The power of Adonis Stevenson, who is a southpaw. He's up there in age, hasn't been as active as you would like to see for a guy that's in his 40s or close to his 40s. But the one thing he does possess is game-changing power, one-punch power, one-punch knockout power in that left hand. And he's a basic fighter, but he's very athletic, and he has good hand speed. He's going to jab right, uh, straight left. Right hook, uppercut. But he specializes in throwing that, that straight left hand. And my question is, can Badu Jack withstand that power in that left hand? He says he can. He says he's been in bigger fights than the one he has upcoming with um, Adonis Stevenson. And you can argue that. Maybe he has. When you're in a unification bout, you can say that. Although he's fighting the guy that's considered, you know, the, who is the lineal, you know, light heavyweight champion of the world. May not be the best, but he has that title. He's the lineal in the WBC, you know, light heavyweight champion. So, um, this is a big fight as well. That's my only concern in this fight. Yeah, and the fight taking place in Canada, it could be some shaky shit, robbery type stuff that goes on if this fight goes the distance. Hopefully that that's not the case. But that's the thing that worries me. Will Bottle Jack be able to withstand that power 
once he gets hit. Because he's going to get hit. And he was dropped against um, James DeGill, who is nowhere near the puncher that Stevenson is. But I guess we're going to find out, man, May 19th, live on Showtime, if, you know, Bottle Jack uh, can avoid that left hand um, and be able to take the title from Adonna Stevenson, in which he's been holding hostage ever since he defeated Bad Chad Dawson all those years back. So, if you do, if you like what I, if you like this video, do what I told you to do in the beginning. Give me some feedback in the comment section below. Head over to Facebook, smack that like button on the Colossal Boxing Talk Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter at Colossal CBT. Shout out to everybody in the movement that's moving with us. Head over to ThreeKingsBoxing.com daily for your latest and greatest unfiltered, unbiased boxing news reported the way it should be. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.